I'm gonna teach you how to grow some weed. How we grow, mother lover? You ever have a vase of flowers that starts to stink? That's what I noticed in my grow room. A slight smell of rotten eggs. I checked my pH one day and boom, out of nowhere, it dropped to 4.32. I proceeded to WebMD and all signs led to death, so I killed my plants. <laughs> but seriously, my plants had root rot. I noticed distinct discoloration on one of my plants and narrowed it down to pythium based on the symptoms. I knew on a couple occasions, my water temperatures went above 70 degrees, and despite using HydroGuard, root rot was apparent and the slime started to develop. So I scoured the interweb and I found a recipe for hydrogen peroxide dunks. See, HydroGuard is a good bacteria that's supposed to fight for the same nutrients as bad bacteria. But either I didn't have enough, or it simply doesn't work. Unfortunately, hydrogen peroxide kills all bacteria, so the HydroGuard would be destroyed along with, hopefully, the bad bacteria. This recipe calls for 30 milliliters of 3% hydrogen peroxide for every gallon of water. I had a pressure cooker pot, which was perfect for this dunk. I only needed to use a single gallon, and one by one, I dunked each plant for a full hour, making sure the roots were fully submerged. In addition, while I was dunking, I top fed the hydroton with this same solution, making sure every nook and crevice was decontaminated. Ideally, do the dunks in the same grow tent Try to fit the pot in there so that you don't stress your plants out by taking them away from their light. Initially, I was going to rinse each pot, but I decided to simply convert my whole entire RDWC system to a sterile water system instead of Benny's, also known as good bacteria. After all the plants were dunked, I tried to sift out any dead roots or questionable solids in the water using a $2 fish net. The last step I did was add 30 milliliters of fresh hydrogen peroxide into my 15 gallon system to keep it sterile. I could safely say that it's been five days since and this is them now. So this is the one that had the Pythium. Look at them roots. That is a nice clean bowl. So please, stop the noise and the hype about HydroGuard being the only form of root control. I used a $2 bottle of H2O2. I think the key to why this worked for me is because I detected it early and I responded as soon as I noticed the smell. I mean, I'm not sure if it's gonna work for you, but it did for me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and check out our other videos for more tips and tricks on how to grow weed. La -da 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 -da. I'm gonna teach you how to grow some weed. How we grow,